In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the basics of adding lights to a QLab workspace and recording cues. We'll be starting with the assumption that your Mac and your lighting system are already connected and configured properly. If that's not yet true, you might want to take a look at the Setting Up for Lighting tutorial, or check out the QLab manual at http colon slash slash qlab.tips. Assuming your hardware is all set up, we can get going. We'll start with a new blank workspace. Still has that fresh new workspace smell to it. Open Workspace Settings and choose Light from the list on the left. Light settings are divided into two sections, Patch and Definitions. The Patch section is where you configure the lighting fixtures in your show, and we'll start there. Click New Instrument to add a light to your show. QLab creates a new instrument and assigns it to the first available DMX address. In lighting terminology, assigning a DMX address is called patching. Since this is the first light, the first available address is 1, so the first light gets patched to address 1. If you add a second light, it gets patched to address 2. If you click on the triangle next to the name of a light, QLab will display the parameters for that light. The default type of light in QLab is a conventional light connected to a dimmer, so you'll only see one parameter, intensity. We'll discuss multi-parameter lights in a moment. QLab names each light with a number, much like a traditional lighting console, but you can change the names of your lights to anything you like. QLab keeps the patch list sorted alphabetically. To change the DMX address for a light, you can simply double-click to edit the address. You can also edit the name of the light in the inspector area at the bottom of the patch list, as well as add a note. Below the Note field is a drop-down menu to let you select a definition for your light, and this is where multi-parameter lights come into play. QLab comes with a handful of definitions for common fixture types. Let's say that this light is an LED light with channels for intensity, red, green, and blue. You can scroll through the list of available definitions, or you can type into the filter box to narrow your search. Choose RGB fixture with intensity. Now, when you view the parameters of the light, you'll see four lines, one each for intensity, red, green, and blue. Since each parameter needs its own DMX address, you'll see that QLab has expanded the patch of the light to cover the necessary channels. In this case, the light was patched to address 1, and it's now patched to addresses 1 through 4. Since there was a second light in the list that was already patched to address 2, you'll see both lights highlighted in red to indicate a patch conflict. Once you correct the conflict, the highlight will go away. Please note that for now, QLab can only assign a continuous block of addresses to a multi-parameter light. As you add lights to your workspace, you can visit the Definitions tab to see all the definitions used in your show and edit them as desired. The Definitions tab and QLab's Light Library are discussed in a separate tutorial. Now it's time to write some cues. So, you've added some lights and patched them, and you can now click Done in the lower right corner to close the settings window. Next, open the light dashboard by choosing it from the window menu. The light dashboard shows the current live state of all the lights in your workspace. At the moment, both of our lights show zero because we've just created them. To bring up a light, you can either double click in the value field and enter a level, drag the slider, or enter a lighting command in the command line. Any levels which you've modified in the dashboard appear in yellow. Click Revert Changes, or type Command-R, to return any yellow level to its previous condition. Once you have a set of levels that you like, you can record a new queue with the buttons in the lower right corner of the dashboard. New queue with Changes records a new queue with only the yellow levels. If you instead click New queue with All, QLab records a new queue with levels for all the instruments in the workspace, whether or not you've adjusted them. Once the queue is recorded, you can select it in the queue list and modify it using the inspector, just like any other QLab queue. The Levels tab lets you add, remove, or edit individual levels in the queue. And there's a command line in there too for making your changes that way. You can also create queues from scratch without using the dashboard. 
To run a light queue, just set the playhead to the queue you want to run and hit go. We've only just scratched the surface of lighting in QLab. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel for more tutorials, and remember that you can always write to support at figure53.com with any questions or comments.